all right bismillah rahman rahim uh, let's start uh, you, uh, topic of uh, statics in uh, which is called as the wrench resultants usually studied in the chapter of moments okay so what does it says uh, when the resultant couple vector m is parallel to the resultant force r the resultant is called wrench so when the resultant couple vector m if you look at it if this is m okay and it is uh, parallel to the resultant force r then the resultant is called wrench so this is the definition of wrench uh, very precise definition of wrench okay a by definition a wrench is positive if the couple and force vectors points in the same direction okay and negative if they point in opposite direction okay so if the direction of the resultant and the couple moment is same it is in the same direction along the same line of action then this forms a positive wrench okay you can see this example uh, of a hinge a door hinge is being tightened by means of a screw driver okay and he is trying to uh, basically tighten the screws so this is an example of a of a uh, a, a positive wrench okay is an example of a positive wrench and he is also giving you uh, a couple moment if of a positive wrench is found with the application of a screwdriver so this is an example of a of a wrench okay to drive a right handed screw any general force system may be represented by a wrench applied along the unique line of action and that the, this is an example of a negative wrench if i ask for negative wrench the line of action of the resultant force is towards the positive x and the line of action of the resultant uh, moment the couple moment is towards the negative x axis a negative x it's opposite to that of then r it forms a negative wrench okay so if you wanted to understand uh, uh, from this figure a if you see if you have a resultant force r which is basically uh, whose origin is at o and you have a couple moment m okay and whose rotation is given as as over here is as, as clockwise okay so what we can do this couple moment is making some angle theta with r this couple moment if you look at it in figure b in b happens is that it resolves into two components m is resolved into two components m1 and m2 okay m1 line of action is again clockwise but m2 line of action is uh, its uh, moment rotation is basically uh, anti clockwise we can further say that m1 is along r and m2 is basically normal to r okay now if you look at it uh, in figure c what happens is that uh, we can replace uh, this m2 by means of two forces which are basically uh, r and minus r we can replace this m2 uh, with two forces which are r and minus r so we can say this m2 can also be equals to uh, r and minus r and times d it is again forming a couple moment and it has the same rotation sense as m2 which is basically uh, going to be anti clockwise so we can replace this m2 with this unique couple moment as r and minus r look at this is r and this is minus r and this is their distance d so r distance d and minus r is basically uh, the replacement of this uh, couple moment m2 okay so what we can say over here is that once you put uh, uh, and this distance d if you look at it from where it comes we can very easily say this distance d if from here if you look at it if we div uh, divide m2 by r if we divide m2 by r we will going to get d d is equals to m2 upon r which is this unique distance d okay so we can say that uh, this m2 is being replaced by these two forces which is forming a r and minus r forming again a couple moment okay so now what we can say if you look at this figure very clearly uh, the line of action of r and minus r is exactly the same it is so r plus r minus r gets cancelled over here so we are basically being left with m1 and this force r okay but if you look at it again this m1 is again a couple moment and you know a couple moment is nothing but it's a free vector it could be a place along here you can place it here you can place anywhere along this line so we can place this couple moment uh, along uh, along the line of action of r 
if we place it along the line of action R, but be very careful the rotation sense is exactly uh, should be the same which is the over here is clockwise ok. So, now it is forming uh, a, a, a complete wrench why we say that because if you look at a definition when the resultant couple vector m is parallel to the resultant force the resultant is called a wrench ok. So, this is an example of a wrench which is found by this general moment and R force system ok. So, thus the resultant of the original general force system have been transformed into a wrench positive with its unique axis defined by a new position of R and this is the new position of R along a new axis. So, this is uh, how wrench systems are defined and basically illustrated uh, in uh, moment systems of uh, statics ok. Thank you very much.